Hello, hello, my adorable squidlings. It's Katie here, and welcome back to another Zodiac piece. Yay! This has been long awaited, at least for me. I am really excited to be working on her. And hey, you're actually getting her in the month of June, unlike Taurus, which you also got in the month of June. <laughs> anyway, um, I am super excited for this one. So, because it's Gemini, I decided to illustrate two different characters, and they are almost like in a yin and yang kind of pose. You know, one is upright and one is upside down. Um, and right now, I'm actually remembering to film the galaxy background, which I chose to do purples and blues, because that is a little bit of the color scheme I decided to go with. So, let's talk about the Gemini people. So, Geminis are born between May 21st and June 21st. I'm sorry, I'm a little late on that, but it's okay. Uh, and it is the twin symbol. So, um, the little symbol that you'll see eventually on their, I think it is their right ankle? Yeah, their right ankle is the, um, Gemini symbol, it's basically two lines with two curves, or one curve above each line. It's hard to explain, you'll see it in a minute. So, Gemini is an air element, and it is ruled by the planet Mercury. Um, I decided to do two different gemstones with this one, just to kind of keep in the whole, not yin and yang theme, because I didn't really want to do that, but I wanted it to be almost, not opposites, but I wanted one to have a darker color scheme than the other. So I did Moonstone as one birth gem, and I did Alexandrite as another, so one is a lighter colored one, and then the other one is a darker colored one. I also chose to illustrate Lavender as the flower of the month. Um, there were other flowers, I believe, but I just decided to do lavender because I like drawn lavender. So, Gemini born, I don't know what you would call yourselves, Gem Geminians? <laughs> Gemini people. Um, they are expressive and quick-witted, sociable and fun, but they can also be serious and restless. So basically, Gemini, um, kind of exudes the duality of man. Um, they can be either upbeat and happy or they can be, you know, the, the complete opposite of that. So I wanted to illustrate the two women in this picture. One, more innocent looking, um, a little bit of a lighter, um, fun color scheme, even though they are the same color scheme. And then the other one, I wanted her to look a little bit more mature and have a little bit of a darker color scheme. It's not too much in comparison because I didn't want her to just kind of like fade away into the background because the background is kind of dark. But I decided to kind of, you know, have the two different looks to them, even though they do look almost identical um, other than that. So, funny story with their poses. I was actually just going to do a flowy dress, <laughs> but I like the anatomy and the legs so much that I decided that the skirt was actually going to be see-through. <laughs> Uh, that's the perk of being an artist, I guess. You can kind of decide whether you want the anatomy to be seen or not. Um, one thing I was going to add, and I didn't add, and I don't know if I'm upset about it or not, I was going to add some feathers to the costume, um, like, as, like, armbands, and maybe add some, like, feathered boots, um, just because it's an air symbol, and when I think of air, I think of birds for some reason, but I, I just omitted that, I don't know. So now I'm going in with colored pencil, and I'm refining the uh, ugly stage, <laughs> which is what it's current, currently in. I like to do a base of watercolor for all of these, and then what I'll do is I'll go over them with colored pencil, just to uh, add a lot more detail. So, honestly, I really love this piece. I say that with all of them, but I do think this is one of my favorite ones, and I'm glad I decided to illustrate two characters. Um, I It's funny, I actually was not going to illustrate two characters, but then I felt like it's not Gemini without, you know, the twin symbol, so um, I decided to draw some twins and all that stuff. So, uh, if you were a Gemini, happy late birthday. Um, I hope I did your sign justice. Again, I really do like this one. So, um, I do want to run something by you guys if you've made it this far into the video. Uh, I really, really want to do like a 2019 Zodiac calendar. Um, but I don't know if there will be any interest for it, and heck, I don't even know how I would go about making that. I was thinking about doing like a little desk calendar or something, um, but I don't know. So I'm going to leave a poll on the screen, and if you are interested in that, vote in the poll, or not, I guess, vote in the poll. Um, I just kind of want to know the interest on that. Um, I would have to start 
making them and piecing it together pretty early to make it a 2019 calendar. But of course I would do like pre-orders and stuff for that. So I don't know. Let me know either in a comment or in the poll what you think of that idea. And yeah, I don't know. I just think it would be really fun to do this. And heck, I might even do it anyway, but I don't know. I just want your input, which is most important to me because, you know, you guys are my fans and I, I want to know what you think. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know. I'm really happy with this piece. I think if I could change one aspect about this, I think I would have changed maybe the tonal range of the galaxy a little bit. Um, I feel like at the moment it's a little too much compared to their color schemes because the girls' color schemes are pretty much the same as the background. And I don't know, I feel like there could have been some variation. So if I were to change that, um, that would be the main thing I would change. Um, that is why I gave them a more pinky, like, flesh tone color, just because I wanted it to contrast a little bit. Um, I was, okay, initially I was going to make one of them darker skinned and one of them lighter skinned, but I don't know, I felt like they were supposed to be twins, and don't get me wrong, I'm pretty sure there are twins out there somewhere that have different, you know, skin tones and stuff, but I don't know, I just wanted them to have the same skin tone, and... I, a lighter one kind of popped out a little bit more from the background than a darker one would have, and I actually wanted to do a darker skin tone, so I think for the next one, or maybe even Leo, I'm actually thinking Leo or Cancer, we're gonna have a lovely darker skin lady. I love painting dark skin. I don't do it enough, and I cannot wait to do so. So now in the painting, I am adding the constellation to the background. As you know, all of my pieces do have constellations in them, and uh, I'm outlining the girls just to pop them out, give them a ethereal feel. Also, if you're interested in any of my Zodiac pieces, I will have a link on the screen. I do have a like little collection over on my store to where you can go get prints. And I also have a playlist if you want to keep watching um, all of my other Zodiacs in case you are new here. Maybe you haven't seen my other Zodiac pieces. Um, if you are new here and you don't know, I am hosting this series over here on my channel. And I'm doing one a month. So right now we're on Gemini. The next one I'm working on is Cancer. And I'm really excited for that one because she's going to be a crab and that's going to be awesome. I have no idea how I plan on illustrating that, but I cannot wait. I'm super excited. Um, but anyway, I hope that you are excited for whatever your sign is. And um, if you haven't seen your sign already, um, if I've already done your sign, again, there will be a playlist link on the screen so you can go head on over there and check it out. But yeah, I am just, I don't know, again, I've said it a million times, but I'm really happy with this piece, and I am just super happy that I'm finally taking this step in my art where, you know, I'm adding, like, mixed media, like, I normally don't do that, and I kind of have to with these pieces because it's really hard to get fine detail on, you know, the small lady, especially since I included two of them, but here is a look at the final piece. I want to thank you so much for watching. If you aren't already and you want to be a part of our cute squid pod, there will be a subscribe button down below as well as a little bell button. If you click that, you'll keep notified on when I upload new videos. I also have social media down in the links below if you want to check that out. And until next time, my adorable squidlings, toodaloo!